Has your pastor ever been pulled over by the police in front of the church on a Sunday morning? My former pastor has been. I'm Aiden, and welcome to A Pastor's Life for Me. Before we get into this story, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to this channel. If you have any other ideas for church stories that you would like me to do, leave a comment below with those. I'd love to hear about them and I have many other ideas as well. It was a normal Sunday morning, or so we all thought. Those of us who always came to church early for our various reasons did as well that morning. It was normal for us to be there well over an hour before our pastor got there. Those of us involved with the worship music had to set up and practice. So to us, nothing seemed off when we didn't see the pastor around even 45 minutes to a half hour before the service started. Often he would slip off into his office to prepare and pray before the service would begin. So he could have come in without us even noticing. It wasn't until several weeks later or even a month before we knew that something had happened that day that no one had realized. Our pastor had been pulled over by the police just across the street from our church. For us, it was just a normal day, but for him, things had not been going smoothly. It was one of those days where time was falling behind for him and he was running late. As a result, he was unconsciously driving a little bit faster than he should have been. It just so happened that he passed a police officer just before the corner where he needed to turn to get to the church. And so as he turned the corner, he was pulled over by the cop just across the street from the church about 20 minutes before the church service was about to start. Now, I don't know about you, but that would get your heart thumping, as that is about when the regulars start to arrive. Especially the ones who stick around about a half hour to 45 minutes after the service to talk and have fellowship. Imagine as you are walking through the parking lot, and you look over and you see some poor fellow who has been pulled over by a police officer. You then realize that that poor fellow is your pastor. How do you then not say anything about this? You're not wanting to spread this around as if you're gossiping. Did you hear? The pastor got pulled over by the police. But yet, it's far too funny to not tell somebody about it, right? Take this from the pastor's perspective. Sitting in his car, dreading that somebody will see him. He is going to be the joke about this for weeks. Yes, it is embarrassing, but it being constantly brought up will be the painfully annoying part about it. And of course, are you gonna get those people with the sticks up their butt who think you've created some egregious offense like murder? You can't blame him for being stressed now, can you? So dread has come over him and sweat drips off of his face as he waits for the cop to approach the window. As the officer does, the pastor knows what he is going to do. The cop finally reaches the window and the pastor turns and politely asks, would you mind if we pulled around the corner? That is my church over there and I was running late and so I am slightly embarrassed that I was pulled over for speeding. I do not know if the cop obliged my former pastor or not, as this story is like a decade or so old. And I honestly don't know if he actually ever told us or not. But I do respect that the pastor actually never did try to hide this from us. If somebody had saw him and brought it up and asked him about it, he would have never denied it. And if everybody did see it and had joked about him with it for a couple of weeks, he would have taken it. But that would have been a huge distraction, especially for that Sunday. And I bet, and I think, that probably most of the congregation wouldn't have been able to focus at all for his sermon that Sunday. So I don't really blame him for asking, you know, can we go around the corner? I do think it was an appropriate request to ask, not only to save him embarrassment for that day, but also to spare the congregation from being distracted the entire service about how he was pulled over by the police for speeding because he was just running a little bit late. It wasn't a big deal, it was only a few kilometers, he was just a little bit distracted, and he did publicly tell the congregation the story several weeks later. By that point, it was a good story that we could all laugh at with him, and then go on and listen to his sermon instead of a distracting incident that had taken 
place. So if you enjoyed this story, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this. So they have a plethora of more funny church stories, church stories that went wrong, youth group disasters, you name it. If you want them, I'll tell them. But that is all for today. So until next time, remember to know the word, do the word, and share the word. But as always, we do it in love.